Hey everybody, it's Dina Rica with the Creativity Cave and look at this gorgeous card. It is so easy to make and I'm excited to share with you how I did it. It just uses a little printed paper and some of my favorite the Stampin' Blends. So let me show you how this came together. First of all, I'm using the petal. Let me get the right, whoa! I just dropped a bunch of cards figures. Uh, <laughs> let me get this name. Petal Passion. Okay, I guess I did know that. So this is the Petal Passion Designer Series paper, which is gorgeous. It's all black and white designs. Some are more solid like this, and then many are outlines like this. So you can color them in, and that makes them so much fun. Here is actually the sheet that I used to create this card. You can see I cut this piece out right here. So you can look at some of the di different designs and just pull one out. This one is very similar right here. And so it's really, really fun to, to play with this. So I think I'm going to pull out a slightly different design. I'm going to pull this one out right here. It's close by. So all I'm just going to do is cut. Now I'm being a little careful because like this flower right here I could also use. I want I looked for an image that had a flower and a leaf design, but of course that is not a requirement. This one is gonna cut my one leaf a little funny, but I think it'll still work. So it's good. And again I'm just cutting around that flower tight so that I can use some of the other images around it as well later on. Okay, I'm so digging this paper. Look at the back side, it's so cool. Okay, so I've got my design. Now before I cut it all the way out, I'm going to go ahead and color this. So on this card, I did put orange in the center. I'm not thinking I can do that on this one, so we'll just stick with my aqua shades. But, it's really easy to color. So let's start with the leaves. I'm going to just follow kind of the shading that's on the paper and put some dark colors like so on here where there's dark colors of um, shading lines. And then I will come back and do the lighter colors around like so. And just like on our regular cardstock, you can blend on printed paper too, which is wonderful. Okay, next I'm going to work from darkest to lightest on my flower here. So I will start, start with the Bermuda Bay. And I like starting with the bullet end of my Bermuda Bay marker because if I don't, I tend to put a little too much color down. And because I'm going to be using four colors of blends to do this flower, I want to make sure I'm a little bit more careful with my color placement. But I love how the shading in the paper has really done all the design work for me. So I can just color those in. It's almost like paint by shading, <laughs> if you will. Okay. Okay. I think that'll be good. Then we'll add our next darkest color. Now because I'm going to blend, I'm going to go over this with my brush end because that helps, I think, blend a little better. So again, I'm just adding a little more color to the areas where I did that darkest color. And still leaving plenty of space for me to fill this up with my two lighter shades. And this is how you get wonderful color variation as well. And I think one thing that tends to happen when we're coloring with blends is we are so careful, um, or I shouldn't say we're so careful. Now I'm going with the dark pool party. Um, we're, we're so anxious to blend that we over blend, I think, and then everything ends up kind of being one shade. So you want to definitely leave some of those other colors behind. And I think this paper is perfect for practicing that. 
So notice I'm still leaving some white spots so that I can come back in and add that final color to this. But I am still going over my area so that they're blended and they're not completely sketchy. Okay. And then next, you can see there's still lots of light spots. We'll hit this lightest color. And I have my color lifter out too, just so that I can use it if I need to. And again, I'm going back over the spots I've already colored too. That's what gives you the fantastic blending. Okay. Now one thing I think I want is a little bit of darker areas in the center. So I can just kind of add that a little bit. When I come back it's easy to add the color it's a little trickier taking it away but you can you can do that all right there we go now lastly if I really want to highlight some of these open spots I can do that okay so we can just highlight a few of those really light spots kind of on the tips here of our petals and then I think this looks like a professionally colored flower. Okay, so now I will finish cutting this out. I do like leaving a little bit of white, though it's a little tricky with this paper because of the intermingling patterns. We have to be a little careful. So I'm, I'm being pretty skimpy on my white that I'm leaving as I cut this out but a little now when I did this flower I didn't like the placement of the leaves as it was attached so I cut it out and kind of repositioned the leaves to the flower so I tucked them behind and I may do that with this one as well but it's just so pretty it's, I love when I color with my blends because I always think to myself, wow, I colored that. Like, that is what you see in, like, printed, you know, professionally done graphic stuff. But I colored it that way, so I always feel pretty special. <clears throat> All right. Oops, one more little spot right there. Okay, so there is our gorgeous flower. And I think actually the orientation of this is okay. All right, so let's put the rest of our card together. I've got my pieces cut and ready to go. I'm starting with a basic black card base. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put something on the inside of this card to really make it sing. Now the other thing I did do to kind of tie this all together is I took a few of the little vines on my printed paper and I colored them in with my marker. I think the bullet end might work a little better for this. Oh yeah. And I really like how this coloring on DSP works with these Stampin' Blends. If you were to use just regular markers you would have all sorts of marker lines and uneven coloring and that is not what you want for this. Um, I really like the look that these markers give on just coloring on black cardstock. Black and white I guess I should say. So I love black and white patterns. They're so fun because you can combine them with any color and they look fantastic. I think, you know, this paper has these beautiful bold images, so I think it's especially fun to kind of work with those, um, with those patterns and mix and match wonderful colors, both subtle colors and bold, bright colors. So, all right, there we have that. Now, of course, you can see through the coloring. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool. Um, on the back side of those patterns, just so you know. All right, so I'm going to layer my two pieces of cardstock. Just get my fast fuse out. And 
And then I also have my printed paper that I'll layer on here. It goes across the whole length. All right, I'll attach this to my card base. Like so. All right, next I'm going to pop this beautiful design up, but first I'm going to punch a circle to coordinate. I've got my two and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm just going to stamp that, or pardon me, punch that, and we'll adhere it right here to our card and then pop this up. Ooh, I like it like that. So of course we're changing up ours just slightly from my original. Ooh, <laughs> just peeled the backing off of my dimensional crazer. I think I'll put one more on just to be safe. You don't want a lopsided popped up flower. I mean, that's no good. All right. Now, finally, <clears throat> I'm going to take just a little scrap of paper that I have left over from trimming out pieces of white cardstock down and I'm going to stamp that with a sentiment. The sentiment I wanted to be really small so that it didn't take away from my flower so I chose best wishes. This is from the cake soiree stamp set and I'm just oops stamping that once more. Okay well one was too high one was too low this one is going to be too high <laughs> this one's going to be just right. There we go. Fourth time's the charm, right? <laughs> All right, so I will take and punch the edge of this and we're gonna put it right on here. I think I'll just trim this so it's fairly short. Put a little adhesive on the back. and then just stick it right on our card. Isn't that beautiful? Now one more thing that I can do, because this is the Petal Palette Suite, I did pull out one of the stamps from the Petal Palette stamp set, which by the way is one of my favorites, and an online class is coming for this one. Um, but I thought I would pull something to kind of coordinate everything together. So let me just grab a piece of white for inside our card. And here is, here is that stamp set. And it does have a best wishes in here. Um, but it has these gorgeous stamps. Of course, this is one that's so fun to color. But what if I just took my old olive pad and put a few leaves on here so that I could just kind of jazz up this little inside piece. Let's see. I'm trying to decide the best way to stamp that. There's a little bit, there's a little bit in my corner. We could even put a little up here, like so. And then you can write on the inside and I think that makes it look so pretty. So let's put a little adhesive on the back of that and adhere it to the inside of our card. So pretty. So I hope you've loved this video. If you need to purchase any of these supplies or would like to see the dimensions and all of the pictures of this card, please go to my blog. The link is in the description of this video as well as um, the supplies are linked at the bottom so you can see everything that I used. And please, if you need to order anything, I would so appreciate your business. It helps me bring more amazing videos just like this one to you each week. And I also have a fantastic VIP rewards club for my uh, customers that I would love to welcome you to. And there's all kinds of perks and the details are on my blog. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you again soon. Bye guys.